Hi, this continues our all access Sasquatch Park series here on the Church of Fourth Air Four Motion. I'm actually back in an area where we get to meet and come face to face with the chupacabra. Now, that is not really a chupacabra. I'm not really sure what it is. It's kind of like a bat, and the wings pop out, and it comes up in the air, and it's got fangs and looks nasty. It kind of probably looks like a mini Mothman, but in the dark, if you've seen a mini Mothman and a chupacabra, you've probably seen it all. And so we just put it out here, so we call it chupacabra. And the reason we do that, one reason we do that, because chupacabra is so fun to say. Chupacabra. Say it with me. Chupacabra. Yeah, say it a little bit louder this time. Chupacabra. Yeah. See, fun to say, kind of roll off the tongue, kind of neat. And so we do this, and as people go through, the chupacabra jumps out over their head, and they scream, and they holler. And when they do, they turn and look at this magnificent river that we have running through here. This is G Creek. Now, G Creek runs through the heart of Winter Springs. As a matter of fact, G Creek is a part of the big history of Winter Springs. And this waterway just kind of winds around and will wind all the way back and connects to the Jessup chain. And it's beautiful when you see it. It's part of this property that we here at the church at 434 have uh, picked up over the past year or so. And so uh, we're looking at it. The water's kind of low right now. Hopefully the water will be a little bit higher next year. We're trying to come up with an innovative way to use it even for face to fear. But this really is old Florida. If you look at it, this looks like that undeveloped part of Florida. Now, the giveaway is, from where I am, you can hear cars driving by in old Florida. And so it's the best of both worlds, right? You've got the look of old Florida, and you're connected to modern society. Yeah, it's fun. Here's what you need to remember. Anytime that you're doing anything on any adventure that you have, that you're taking, um, that God has you on, He'll keep you connected enough to the places you need to be to enjoy the places that he puts you. I'll say that again, because we don't always think of it that way. God will give you enough to connect you to the places that you need to be connected to that will allow you to be successful in the places that he has placed you. A lot of times when we think we serve God, we're gonna be out there all by ourselves, and that's not the way it works. God puts us in the places that we need to be to stay connected, to stay healthy, to have the resources we need to do what we need to do in the places that he's called us. That's that balance. I can hear cars. I'm out in the middle of the woods. Who knew? It's great fun, but it's also a powerful reminder that God works that way in our lives as well. That connection that we have carries us through those tough moments and those tough times. Remember that. Next time you're wandering out in the woods, don't get lost. Make sure you're connected. Make sure you have the resources you need, and you will be successful on whatever journey you take. We'll continue our all-access tour in our next edition.